Hello everybody, this is Christina from Craft Muse, and today our tutorial is going to be for Jack Skellington from The Nightmare Before Christmas. So this is what we will be making today. <clears throat> I missed a row when I was making him, so he's a little bit shorter than um, the other ones that we have made. So I will remember to do that in this tutorial. But as you can see, he only really requires white and black for the colors that you're going to be using. And instead of using pony beads for the eyes, which I normally do, I used buttons instead. Um, black buttons are usually pretty easy to come by. Um, I get my buttons in these little cases here from Michaels. Um, I like these because they come with a variety of sizes and they're like a dollar. So you can find these. Like, um, kind of in the checkout, like, if you're waiting in the checkout line, they have all that junk and that's like a dollar, you know? The, um, last minute spontaneous buy stuff. <laughs> that's where you can find these buttons here, but, of course, like I said, black is pretty common and you might have some laying around somewhere. Um, if you don't have black buttons, you can also just use, um, the pony beads like we've been doing. Um, or if you have safety eyes, you can do that as well. So... Just know that if you don't have buttons, you can still make this. Don't worry. And if you don't have safety eyes or pony beads, you can use wrap bands. So, um, I will have a band count in the description box below for him. And, let's see. You'll also need some polyfill, of course, to stuff him up with. You'll need your crochet or rainbow loom hook, and then you also need a stitch marker or a C-clip to make him. So he's not very difficult to make. There's going to be some parts that are kind of um, repetitive, so um, I will, of course, do the first row with you and then let you guys do the remaining rows um, on the parts that are just repeating the same thing over and over again. So let's get started on him. You can make little Jack Skellington to go with your zero that we've already made. So the first thing that we want to start off with are the arms and the legs. And I am going to apologize right now for my voice. Um, the reason why I haven't put out a tutorial is because my whole family has been, like, ill. <laughs> so I'm still getting over that, but it's a lot better now. But my voice is still kind of yucky. <laughs> so for the arms and legs, we are going to need to make two in white and two in black. So the two that, two in white that we're making are going to be placed on white bands and then the two in black that we are making are going to be placed on black bands. So I'll make one with you and then you guys can go ahead and make the remaining three. So I'm going to make a black one with you guys. So as usual, this is just going to be a magic ring with six stitches in it. So I'm going to grab my first band and wrap it around my hook two times so that I have three loops on my hook. I'm going to take my next band and bring this capping band onto it. Slide the band down and place the band on your hook. I usually just like to grab my capping band here and then just slide this band under this one like I'm creating a slip knot, but keep it nice and loose. Next I'm going to keep um, put my hook through that capping band, I have to make sure that I go through all three loops. I'm going to grab another band and bring it through the cap band only. I'm going to leave this band over here alone. So just through the capping band. Slide it up and onto your hook. So now you have three bands on your hook. And now you're just going to slide this first band through these two here. Go back through your capping band and you're going to do the same thing. So band through your cap band and up onto your hook and slide under. So we've done three stitches, we need to do three more the same way. So through the cap band up on your hook and slide under. So this one is my last one here. Now when you're finished you should have something that looks like this and you can kind of adjust it so it's more circular. And what you should have now are a total of six stitches on the sides and these are the little V-shaped um, 
things on the side. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and then the band that's on my hook counts as a stitch, so that is number six. Next I'm going to take my hook and go through that very first stitch there, grab another black band, and I'm going to bring it through all the loops on my hook, and up onto my hook, and tie that into a slip knot. Just don't tie it too tight because we need to undo this later on in the video um, for when we're adding it to his body. So you need to make one more black one like this and then two white ones. All exactly the same thing, just magic rings with six stitches in it. So I'll meet you back here when you are finished with that and then we will continue on. Now we want to start with the body and we will be starting with white. So let me just kind of make a little note here just in case you guys are going to be using the pony beads for the eyes. On row three they will be going in stitch three and nine just in case you guys don't have buttons. So let's begin with the body and again we're starting with white. So, we will be starting with a magic ring with six stitches in it. So wrap your band around your hook twice and just start putting in your magic ring. So there's one. Two. Three, four, five, and six. So just like what we just did with the arms and legs, we just did with this part. So we should have our six stitches in there. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Grab your C-clip or your stitch marker and place it on the band that is on your hook. Next what we want to do in row 2 is increase in every stitch around. So we need to put an increase in each of these 6 stitches here. Um, and basically an increase is just 2 single crochets in each stitch. So we're going to be going into our first stitch here. Grab a band and you're going to bring it through the first stitch only up onto your hook and then slide under. Go back into that first stitch again. Bring your band through the stitch only up onto your hook and slide under. So that is one increase right there. Next you're going to go to your second stitch and do the same exact thing. So band through the stitch only up onto your hook and slide under. Go through your second stitch again, band through your stitch only up onto your hook and slide under. Continue on to stitch number three and do the same exact thing. So there's one. Go back in. stitch, there's one, go back in, and two, fifth stitch here, there's one, go back in, two, now here's my last stitch, there's one, Go back in, two. So you should have something like this now, and you should also have 12 stitches instead of six. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. Go ahead and place your C-clip on the band that's on your hook. Now if you'll be adding pony beads as eyes, you'll be doing it here in this next row. And even though I'm not going to be placing my eyes on, I'm going to um, let you know where you want to be putting your eyes. So for this row, we're going to be doing a single crochet 
followed by an increase and we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around so that we end up with 18 stitches and again pony beads will be going in stitches 3 and 9 if you are using a pony bead you want to place it on a band that is white I'm just using a little bitty one here just to kind of give you guys an example of what you need to do if you are using the pony beads okay so again our pattern is going to be a single crochet followed by an increase so our very first stitch here is going to just be a single crochet okay our second stitch will be do doing an increase so we need to put two single crochets in this second stitch here so there's one. I'm going to go back into my second stitch. And two. Now here in stitch three is where you'll be adding an eye if you're using pony beads. So I'll show you with the pony bead even though I'm going to just take it out afterwards. So if you're using buttons, just put a band here instead of an eye. Um, this third stitch here will be a single crochet. So if you're using an eye, you'll just bring the band through that third stitch up onto your hook and then just slide under okay but I'm not using the pony beads today so I'm gonna just take that out and just do it with a regular band okay now our fourth stitch will be an increase so there's one go back in and two. Fifth is a single. Six will be an increase. So there's one. And two. Seven is a single. Eight will be an increase. Okay, now we're in nine, so if you're adding an eye, add one right here in stitch nine. Nine is a single crochet. Ten will be an increase. Eleven is a single. And then... Our last stitch here will be an increase. So we should now have 18 stitches in our round. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Go ahead and place your C-clip on the band that's on your hook. Next, we want to increase to 24 stitches, so we will be doing a single crochet, a single crochet, and then an increase. And we'll repeat this pattern all the way around so that we end up with 24 stitches. Okay, so our first stitch will be a single, second is a single, and third is an increase. Number four, single, five, single, six will be an increase. If I'm going too fast, please feel free to rewind or pause. Next stitch will be a single, and then another single. And then an increase. We have single, single, and increase. Single, 
single to increase. Single, single, and then here we will be doing an increase. Okay, so now we have 24 stitches around. If you want to count to make sure that you have that before we continue on, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Okay, so now it's going to get a little bit repetitive here. It's not too bad though. We need to do five rounds of single crochets in the 24 stitches. So I will do the first one with you and then you'll need to continue on and complete four more rounds um, before we can move on to the next portion. So make sure you're marking off each row that you do so you make sure that you do five and you don't make the same mistake I did when I made my first one and make him too short even though he's still cute. So. It doesn't really matter if you accidentally leave out one row, but if you're a perfectionist, then it will matter to you. <laughs> okay, so just single crochets around in the 24 stitches. Every time I've been making these, like Jack Skellington and Zero, I've been having the song This is Halloween stuck in my head for the whole tutorial. <laughs> I won't sing it for you guys though. I already sound like a frog as it is. So if you're used to making the Tsum Tsums, it's kind of weird doing it without eyes if you're using buttons. It's kind of weird just having a plain blank canvas. Alright, so here is my last one here. And I am going to mark it off here that I have done one row and I know that I need to do four more rows around and you guys do as well so I will meet you back here when you have completed your additional four rounds. Okay so I did my additional four rows around so you should have something like this. Now normally we would stop here and add the face and stuff but since it's blank and I want kind of everybody to have their arms and legs in the same position. Um, I figured we could put, we'll do the next row around where we add the arms. That way we kind of know which side is, what is the bottom and what is the top and kind of know where we can place our eyes and our mouth and stuff like that. So kind of give us an idea of, um, I don't know, it will just, so everybody's kind of on the same page if you're using the buttons. Um, for the eye placement and stuff like that. So um, this is going to, this next row around is going to be in black and I made a mistake earlier when I said the arms need to be on white bands. They actually need to be on black bands and I'm sorry for doing that to you guys but it's an easy fix so just take out that, tying out that first 
white tying off band that you placed in your arm and then just pick up that loop and then go into the next stitch and now you're just going to be putting black on <clears throat> just because the arms are going on the black portion so do the same thing to your other arm okay so here's where we left off right here if I can get it now you're going to need your black and don't put your white away I mean you could temporarily put it away but we are going to need it later to do the pinstripes um, on the body later on so grab your arms for row 10 we're just doing single crochets around in the 24 stitches Again, this is going to be in black, and our arms are going to be going in stitches 5 and 10. So you'll go into your first stitch here, and we need to change the color out. So we'll grab our black, and you're going to bring it through all the loops on your hook. Bring it back up onto your hook, and then slide this under like you're doing a slip knot, and that is called a slip stitch. That also counts as a single crochet, so that is number one. Now we're just going to continue on. So here's single crochet two, stitch three, single crochet, stitch four. Okay, now I'm going to stick my hook in my fifth stitch here, grab an arm, I'm going to undo this little knot if you made one. Just make sure that your band is still on to your um, magic ring, you don't want it to slip off. Put your um, hook through one end and bring it through the stitch. And then grab the other end up onto your hook. And then slide under. Whoops. So that was five. Now I'm going to keep going with single crochets to ten. So here's six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Now I'll stick my hook in the tenth stitch and do the same thing. So undo that tying off band, slide it through your stitch up onto your hook and slide under. And then you can just continue with your single crochets till you get to the end. Sorry, I'm like, feel like I'm going to be losing my voice. <laughs> so my voice is kind of like croaky and congested sounding. <laughs> and my nose is... It's not attractive. Sounding... Okay, so once you get to the end here, we are going to temporarily tie off so that we can work on the details in the face. So here's my last stitch here. And then I'm going to go over to my next stitch over and then just grab any color band and slide it through all the bands on your hook. Reclaim and then tie that into a slip knot. And that will just hold it in place while we work on the face. So if you flip this over, you've got your legs on the bottom and your tying off band to the right. So that's the reason why I did this was so we know. So our um, we ended in the same area for our stitches. So we've got our arms down here. So we know that we need to put our eyes here and our mouth here. Okay, so let us work on the eyes first. So if you didn't already place pony beads, if you're using either safety eyes or buttons, this is where you're going to want to add them. I don't know, I don't know what size I want to use. Do I want to use? I think I'm going to go a little bit smaller for my eyes. So 
I'm going to use these buttons here. And to attach the buttons, I just took a band and cut here so that it's kind of just like a string. <laughs> and then since I'm only using a two hold button, I'm just going to thread this through each hole in the button. Now if you're using a four hold button, you're going to need to use two bands to secure it. So you'll put one through one band through two holes and then another band through the other two holes. So, just like that. I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. And then we will just use the, um, the additional band here to tie it in a knot onto the face. So. Okie dokie. So how I placed my buttons, I just found the middle, the center here, which is this magic ring right here, and then I kind of just laid my buttons on. Now you can either add them higher, like ab above this middle, this magic ring here, or you can put it in line, like it with the magic ring. So it's up to you where you want to place your eyes. Just kind of. Um, I mean, you can, before you tie it off, you can kind of just play around with it and find a spot that you want. But I'm going to be using this stitch right next to my middle ring, my middle ring, <laughs> my magic circle. So here's a stitch right here. This is where I want one end to come through. So i got to bring one of these little ends through into the inside of the face. And then right next to that, I'm going to go through another stitch and bring this end down into the face. And then I'll just tie it in a knot. So there's one little eye. Yeah, kind of looks like he might be Baymax. <laughs> okay, and then the same thing. Wait, do I want my eyes that close together? Yeah, they're going to be really close together. Do I want that? Why not? Let's see. Both of my Jack Skellingtons will have a different look. So I'm just doing the same exact thing with the other eye. <laughs> Those eyes are going to be really close together. <laughs> So, eyes are on. Now I want to add the little nostrils. So, I'm going to need four black bands for that. So, I'll put one black band on my hook. Grab another one. Slide this first black band on. Reclaim. And tie that into a slip knot. 
And then I'll do the same thing with these other bands here. Okay. So I'm going to use one of these for each nostril. Now under my magic ring I have a stitch here and a stitch here. So I'm going to use this first stitch here on the left, come up through the inside of the face, bring one end down. Of course, yours might look different, or you might be placing yours in a different area just depending on where you placed your eyes. So, And then I'm going to come up in that stitch right underneath it. And I don't even know if this is going to work out, so. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So now I'm going to go to this next stitch right here and do the same exact thing. I don't know. I might change my eyes. I don't know if I like them that close together. It doesn't really look like Jack when they're like that. Okay, so once you've found your position or your placement for your nostrils, you can just tie these in a knot. Just don't pull too tight, otherwise your nostrils will end up disappearing. <laughs> Okay, now we need to add his mouth, and before I do that, I am going to switch out his eyes, so I'm just going to do that off camera, because you guys know how to add the eyes already, so you don't need to see me struggle with that, so. Okay, I fixed his eyes, basically I just moved him over one stitch. Now let's work on his mouth. So I'm just going to make a long chain of bands, I'm just going to slip and knot them together. So I'm going to do first one, hold on, I don't like how these black ones get all twisted up when you slip knot them. There's two. I'm trying to make them not twist up together. There's three. Four. Five. I don't know, just keep going until you think you've gotten your length. And you can choose to do like a smaller um, mouth or you can make a longer one. <clears throat> I'm probably just going to start from the center of this eye and then go to the center of this eye here with my mouth. So we need to use this to stitch on our mouth. So find the starting point where you want your mouth to start. Now if you want it to be more of like a smile, you're going to start um, more up than where you want your mouth to sit because of course the smile has to go up. So I'm just going to start mine here. So bring your 
band through. And you're going to figure out where you want to bring it through next. So I'm up here right now. And I'm probably just going to go diagonally down to here. Make sure you've got enough band on this side here so that the whole band, the whole, like, the red doesn't pull through. Next, I'm going to come about over here. And pull it up out of the face. And then I need to close that gap up, so I'm going to bring it down. So I'm going to stick my hook through where this band is going down into. I'm going to stick my hook up into there. And then bring this band through. gonna make sure my band is semi tight to kind of keep it to lay flat okay now I'm gonna come I'm just gonna go here right next to that Bring my band up. Then I need to close that gap off. So I'll go through that hole. Bring this down. And it's okay if your smile looks a little scraggly. Because that's Jack Skellington and his smile is not perfect. Okay, so why do I have all of this loose stuff here? Oh, come on. Sometimes I like to talk to me. Things that I'm making as if they're listening. Okay, this seriously is giving me a hard time here. Alright, so I've got this, and now I'm gonna go... I need to end it, so... I made my smile a little bit shorter than my last one. So that's going to be where my smile ends and then I'm going to close up this gap here. Okay, so I suppose that's good enough. 
Now we have all this mess in here that we need to tie off. Seriously, why do I not pull it tight enough? Hold on one second. There we go. So if you have like all of this extra tying off band, you can just take it off. Because you don't need to keep that on if you've got extra. Because it will just, if you do, it will just end up poking through your holes and show the black. So you want to get rid of that if you can. So I'll just keep it like this and then I will tie these two in a knot. Okay. Yeah, his mouth is kind of like, ooh. oh well. So now we need to add his little stitches, I guess. So we need to put some more slip knotted bands. I've already got some right here from extra, so I'll just add on to this one here. Probably only do a total of So I've got one, two, three, four, and five. So you're just going to go in stitches above and below the mouth. And place these little things in. So here I'm going above the mouth. I'm going to pull that band through just a little bit. And then I'm going to go below that. Okay, and then find your next spot. So I'm going to go over here. Oops, I need to go through the top. Got so many tying off bands here. Just make sure you're not grabbing the wrong one. So I went above and now I'm going to go below. Okay, I'm going to do the 
this again. I'm only going to do three. So here I am above. And I'm going to go below. Okay. Now you need to tie these off. So again, if you have extra, you can take those off. And then, since mine are really short, I'm just going to loop it through and then find a stitch in the face and use a white band to tie that off. Okay, so that is the face. Just take your time while you're doing it. Redo it if you don't like how it came out. It is very hard working with bands to do detailing um, other than like basic stuff. So um, it's not going to come out perfect. So just kind of work with it um, and take your time. Um, and then you can also just untie it and redo it if you don't like how it turns out. Sometimes it takes like one time to get it right. Sometimes it takes like five times to get it right. So just keep with it and you guys will come up with a nice smile. So let's move on <clears throat> with the body. So we're done with the face. So we're still just using black, and we're going to be using black for the end of, up until the end of the design. So now we are just doing repetitive rounds here. We're going to be doing um, single crochets around in the 24 stitches, and we need to do a total of four. So I will do the first one with you, and then make sure you're marking off how many rows you've done so that you know. So I'll do the first one, and then you need to do three more after that. In our last round that we did, we did our color change to black. So you can see here that we have this one, our very first black stitch into the next round kind of um, goes diagonally, and it doesn't, you know, go nice and, like, smoothly around with these other ones. You're going to skip that first black stitch there because that is from the slip stitch that we did to change colors. So go ahead and place your C-clip on that band that's on your hook, and start with the second black stitch. Okay, and then just do your crochets around, just single crochets. So are you guys all ready for Halloween? 
can't believe it's already almost Halloween, meaning it's already almost Christmas, <laughs> and I am in no way ready for that. My three-year-old loves Halloween stuff, like, in his bed right now, every time we go to the grocery store, we get him a pumpkin, like, a real pumpkin so he's got in his bed right now he's got a medium-sized pumpkin and two baby pumpkins and a foam pumpkin like they have to sleep they have to like be right next to his pillow and I had to draw faces on each one of them it's and he has a ghost pillow so his bed is like totally Halloweened out which is funny because my seven-year-old is so scared of like Halloween stuff like he hates the Halloween aisle and my three-year-old is just like loving it so it's funny how different they are okay so here is my last stitch here And I'll place my C clip in there and mark off that I did one row. So now I need to do three more. And I will meet you guys back here when you have completed your additional three rounds. Okay, so I have done my four rows total around. Um, next we want to do for row 15, we're still just doing the single crochets around in the 24 stitches. But we need to add our legs to this uh, row. So our legs are going to be going in stitches 2 and 8. So I'm going to do my first single crochet here. And then I'm going to go in stitch 2. And then just like we did with the arms, you're just going to undo that tying off band. But don't take it out. Bring it through your stitch up onto your hook and slide under. So that's number 2. Now I'm just going to single crochet around to number 8, so here's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, now I'm going to go into stitch 8, grab my other leg, Undo that tying off band, bring it through, onto my hook, and slide under. And then we can just continue around with our single crochets. And then we've got to add our pinstripes before we start closing him off. So on row 16, let's actually do this row before we add the pinstripes. So we want to decrease, um, so we're going to do a single crochet, a single crochet, followed by a decrease all the way around, and so that we end up with 18 stitches. And then after we finish this round, then we're going to start adding the pinstripes. So go ahead and place your C-clip where you left off. 
Okay, and we're going to start off with a single crochet. And then do another single crochet. Okay, and then we want to do a decrease. So we want to stitch the next two stitches up together. So you can see I have my next stitch is right here, and then my next one is here. I'm going to go pick up the front loop only. So I'm not going through the entire stitch, I'm just going through the front loop or in between the stitch, however you want to look at it. And then picking up the front loop only of the next stitch over as well. So I've got the two up here, and then I've got this down here. I'm going to grab a band and bring it through these two stitches only. And then bring it up onto my hook, and then slide under. So that was a decrease. Now we're going back to single crochets. So here's one. Go to your next stitch, do a single. And then you want to do another decrease, which is very hard to see with the black here. So I'm going to pick up the front loop only of my next stitch, and the front loop only of my next stitch over. Grab a band to bring it through the first two loops only up onto my hook and slide under. Okay, we're repeating with the single crochets. So here's one. Oops. And then here's two. And then a decrease. So front loop and front loop through the stitches only, up onto your hook, and slide. Single crochet, single crochet, and then a decrease. decrease. Whoops. Now I'm just going to go into my next stitch over, tie off temporarily, so we can add our pin strips. And just so you know, I went ahead and changed out my eyes because I didn't like how the lo the small ones were looking. So I just changed them out for the ones that I used in my other jack, just because I think the larger eyes look more, I guess, more like him than the smaller eyes were looking. So okay, so for our pen stripes, I could not find a better way to do this because like. Like I said earlier, it's very hard to do detailing with rubber bands, but um, we're going to be using white and slip knotting them around um, where this white stops up here. So if you find your center, just kind of find a center one. So I'm going to say that this is my center here, and I'm just going to go through that white that's right there. So right before it meets the black, and then I'm going to bring a band through that stitch, put it up onto my hook, tie it into a slip knot. Now I want to add another slip knotted band to that, so I'm going to take another white band, bring it through, up onto my hook, and slip knot that. Now we need to do this all the way around, so we need to add slip knotted bands, but I'm doing every other one, so I'm going to skip this one here, 
and I'm going to go to my next one and do what I just did with this one. So bring a band through and tie that into a slip knot and then add another slip knotted band to that. Then I'm going to skip one and go to the next one. Slip knot one band and slip knot another band. Okay, I'm going to skip one, go to the next. So there's one. One, go to the next. Any slip knot? And another one. Now, at this point, you might run into an arm. So right where my arm is, I want to skip that next section there, and I'm just going to go to the other side of my arm. So I'm right here. I'm going to add one even though it's like right up next to my arm. Skip one. I'm going to skip one and now I'm right up next to my other arm. Skip one and go to the next. Just keep going around until you get to the very first one that you put in. Here's my last one here. Okay, so now you've got this little wild and crazy jack with all these little things everywhere. Now we need to secure it inside the body, so we're going to be tying lots of knots. So, you want to make sure when you bring these through, you want to stretch them across, and you want to bring it through. You have your last row right here. You want to bring it through in the stitch right above. I don't even know if you can really see this, but I'm going through, let's see, yeah, this stitch right here. And I'm going to bring it through. Actually, wait, I'm going to go in the stitches, let's see, that the feet are in. So you have your first row here, you have a stitch there that you could go through, and then a stitch right above that. You want to go in that 
second to last stitch and just bring it on through and then go to your next one and bring it on through your next one bring it through next one bring it through so I've got four I'm going to tie these into knots right now so I'm just going to take these and tie these together. Try not to do it too tight. Because you don't want them to fold up the um, design. So tie them in knots as loosely as possible. Okay guys, I'm going to take back the whole tying off and knots thing. I'm going to try this a different way. So just untie them so that they're loose. And go ahead and go around and pull through the rest of your things. Just be careful not to have any of them slip out yet. So don't worry about tying them off just yet. So when you're at a foot, you can either go, yeah, I'm going to go on this side of the foot. I'm making a lot of mistakes today. Which I apologize for. Trying to make sure that they're evenly spaced or as evenly spaced as you can get. Alright, so I have put pulled all of mine through and I'm making sure that the black part isn't like folding underneath so these are nice and loose right here. Now what I'm going to do is just pick a spot, any spot, grab one of the loops, and then I'm just going to go around in a circle and bring each loop under the, the first one. So I'll grab the second loop, bring it under that first loop. Grab the next loop, bring it under. Grab the next loop, bring it under. This way I'll make sure that you don't... the um, slipknotted bands aren't being pulled too tightly. Let me 
so that they won't make the black fold in and the sheep will stay so I'm just going all the way around so these are nice and loose and straight and then I will tie this off, so since this was my last one here, I'll just go into a stitch in the black, grab a black band, and fasten this off. And I still have my nice round shape, and my little stripes, once it's stuffed up, will be nice and straight. Okay. And it's a little cleaner on the inside than if you were to tie all of them in knots. So let's continue on. If you are finished with your pinstripes, we are going to continue in our rounds. We have two more rows left. Put your C-clip where we last left off. So our next row around is going to be a single crochet followed by a decrease so that we end up with 12 stitches. So we're going to do a single crochet and then we will do a decrease. single and a decrease single decrease Single, and then I'll end with a decrease. And we want to stuff them up now before we close them up, so grab your polyfill. And just start filling him up. His face got a little distorted in the area where we added the mouth. You can kind of smooth that out with your polyfill. Just use your fingers to kind of get the shape nice. And then just make sure that you're not adding too much stuffing in the back because it is black and black tends to show polyfill a little bit more than white so just squish them around okay so I think that is good for me and we will now close them off so to do that we just need to do decreases all the way around so you have 12 stitches now and you want to end up with 6 stitches. So we need to do a total of 6 decreases 
all the way around. So here will be my first decrease. And then this will be my second. Here will be my third. Which is four. Five. And six. Oops. So once you have done that, you still have this gap here that we need to close up. So grab another black band and pull it onto this band right here. Reclaim and tie into a slip knot. Now what you want to do is bring it through each, not that you can even really see this, but you have six stitches left. You want to bring this tying off band through the top loops of each stitch around. So I brought it through one. I'm going to go through my second one here. Bring it through. There's my third one. Bring it through. Fourth. Bring it through. And then here's my fifth one here. And bring it through. And I'm only going to do five. Now, once you've done that, press down with your thumb and give it a nice little tug so that it closes that up. And then you can just find a spot next to your tying off band and tie it into a knot. So just bring it through a stitch and then tie into a knot and push down with your thumb. Oops. Good thing my knot was tied. <laughs> and then you need to tuck in that little nub. Well, I have a nub left. You guys probably have a string. <laughs> That's what happens when you pull too tight. Okay. So there's Jack. He looks kind of short too. They almost look about the same. But I think I missed one row in the white here on this one. And they both look different, so you can kind of see how, like, the reason why everybody's is going to turn out looking differently is because you have the option to do your um, faces differently. So, like, on this one I did kind of a full face like a full smile here and then this one I just did like a little teeny one just to kind of see you know what it would look like sometimes I like to try different things on each one that I make so that's why most of mine always come out looking differently in the facial in the facial areas and the hair and stuff like that so but I think they're both cute um they both have a different look to them so I hope you guys enjoyed making him and I really appreciate you guys um, watching this video. And I'm looking forward to seeing some of your jacks and zeros. Um, I've been seeing some zeros. But hopefully I can get some pictures of these two. Of Jack and Zero together. Because they're best friends. Zero. My hero. Um, yeah. So, stay tuned for more tutorials. Uh, my next tutorial will be the candy corn box, because i got to get her out before Halloween. <laughs> so, hopefully she will be up pretty soon. And thank you guys so much. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you guys would subscribe, that way you guys can know every time I come out with a new video, it will give you a notification. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.